In Shanksville today, the 40 heroes on board Flight 93 are being honored. When they realized hijackers were trying to take over the plane, they took action, deciding to do everything they could to stop the plane from hitting another U.S. landmark. And thousands of people have already gathered at the Flight 93 Memorial ahead of the remembrance ceremony there tomorrow. And over the last few days, an artist created a tribute to the heroes of Flight 93. Roscadati spoke with family members who lost, lost loved ones that day to learn about what this special tribute means to them. Ross. You know, Ken, all around Somerset County, there are memorials, wonderful ones, dedicated to the heroes of Flight 93. But there is something very special about, the, about these drawings. When you see them, you'll understand it. Very special to the loved ones who lost someone on that fateful day. They are remarkable, vivid, beautiful chalk drawings of 40 regular people who in that ultimate moment epitomized courage. Chalk's a beautiful form of art in its own right, different than a photograph, and it kind of brings it closer to, to nature. That is Christopher Mark Whalen, and this, a portrait of Richard Redagno, his cousin. Richard would be humbled by what people have done to honor him and the other passengers. Near the visitor center, as you walk in, you see them. An amazing long line of beautiful portraits. All of these souls lost here on that fateful day. The eldest brother, Edward, was a passenger on Flight 93. Gordon Felt actually watched his brother picture being created. It brought me to memories of Ed and growing up and spending time with him. And, and every time I come here, I, I'm, I'm drawn to this place uh, because I feel some peace here and I feel close to Ed. It's impossible not to notice how different all these faces are, yet they came together here and remain here forever. That's uh, Lorraine Grace Bay, and she was my godmother and cousin. Lorraine Bay was a flight attendant on 93. Emily Schenkel says this is the face that captures the spirit of the woman, who, like the rest, fought to save the lives of people they would never know. She was an extremely vibrant, compassionate person, and the chalk brought that out for sure. I feel her here. I feel um, all of them. I feel the presence, feel closer to her when I'm here. I want to thank those individuals for taking the time to talk to us on what is no doubt a very emotional next couple of days. Now, we would be remiss if we didn't recognize the artists that came from around the world to create those pictures, specifically Eric Greenwald, Pittsburgh, known as the Chalking Dad. These pictures, meanwhile, will be here tomorrow. They will eventually be given to the 93 families to memorialize those they have lost. Reporting live at the Flight 93 Memorial, Somerset County, Ross Gadotti, KDK News. Quite a gesture, Ross. Thank you.